India has reached new heights in drone technology with an indigenous solar-powered pseudo satellite soaring for 21 hours, making a pivotal moment in the nation's aviation prowess. The project is designed for India to prevent terror infiltrations like the one seen in Israel or the 2008 Mumbai attacks where attackers sneaked in undetected. Now, India is investing in solar-powered pseudo satellites to monitor 15,000 kilometers of Indian borders 24-7. So why is this drone milestone significant for India? How are solar-powered high-altitude drones different from satellites or smaller drones like the Predator or the Reaper, which India is planning to secure from the US? Firstly, the record milestone of 21-hour flight has been achieved by New Space Research and Technologies Private Limited. The flight was completed on the winter solstice, December 22nd, or the shortest day of the year, which is even more challenging for a solar-powered drone. Such pseudo-satellites operate at nearly 65,000 feet, nearly double the height of commercial jets, which fly at nearly 35,000 feet. They can also monitor nearly 80 to 100 kilometers of area at a time, much larger than traditional drones. In concept, since high-altitude pseudo-satellites or HAPS depend on solar power during the day and batteries during the night, they could potentially soar in the sky for months without the need to refuel. They are also more maneuverable than satellites, which have a fixed trajectory. New Space Research and Technologies has backed the initial contract for a 48-hour non-stop flight demonstration under the aegis of Innovation for Defense Excellence or IDEX. The next demonstration flight will be held on the summer solstice on the 21st of June. Notably, the Indian Air Force has allocated the HAPS project a significant portion, 1,000 crore rupees, under the Make I project by the Government of India, indicating substantial government backing, amounting to 70% of the project's funding. The implications of this solar powered pseudo satellite extend beyond defense, promising continuous surveillance, robust communication, and scientific missions. They can also revolutionize connectivity in remote regions with limited terrestrial networks, as well as enable communication between frontline troops and command centers in case of a conflict. This breakthrough positions India at the forefront of drone technology, helping Indian forces not only monitor Chinese tactics and incursions along the LSE in the or Arunachal, but also track 24-7 any infiltration attempts from POK across the rugged LOC. What do you believe? Will high-altitude pseudo-satellites prove to be a game-changer for India's border defense? Leave a comment below and if you like our news report, then subscribe to our channel or hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.